Welcome to Quantum Online Academy. This is your Dr. Nagaraj Upendam. Already I told mathematical methods of physics, how we have to approach the CSR syllabus and gate syllabus, what are the old questions we discussed. And the second one, classical mechanics also I told. We will upload in YouTube also. We will upload in the simultaneously in app that is free for everyone, right? So please share and subscribe my YouTube channel to be subscribed to your friends also please share okay please encourage me so now we have to discuss about the quantum mechanics quantum mechanics is very very important topic because we unable to listen with our human eye whatever the abstract thinking is there no so that abstract thinking is quantum mechanics it is describes about the microscopic uh, things Suppose if you have to see the motion of the electron, classical mechanics cannot be described. But quantum mechanics, we can successfully explain about the motion of the electron. Light, we cannot see the electromagnetic radiation. Uh, we cannot experience the velocity of the electromagnetic radiation, right? But in quantum mechanics, uh, the quantum mechanics experiments able to explain the electromagnetic radiation properties right such type of experiments we have to do by using the quantum mechanical concept this is very very important maybe if you have to practice daily otherwise you have to listen my videos uh, you have to join in csr gate batch you have to follow regularly then only you able to do the questions Otherwise, it is a big difficult to you because it is most, most important topic, quantum mechanics. What is our ultimate goal? Once you have to see, first we have to uh, prepare for the syllabus. What the syllabus is going to ask, that is very, very important. Without the syllabus, without the blueprint, we are unable to prepare, correct? So that's why, what is the syllabus is there in CSR? What is the syllabus is there in GATE? So then how we have to approach, what is the examination pattern, then we decided how we are, how the questions are coming in old exams, uh, previously uh, yearly asked questions, PYQs, once you have to see, then it will become very easy. It is easy only, once you understood, it is easy only. If you are not understanding, it is very, very difficult. So syllabus, paper pattern, solutions of some old questions we have to discuss in this video. First is syllabus. Already I told CSIR two parts are there. One part A that is the core syllabus. Another one is the part B that is a advanced syllabus. From the core syllabus also questions will come. From the advanced syllabus also questions will cover. We won't neglect any part, any word in the syllabus uh, quantum mechanics. Clear? Now you have to see what is the syllabus is there, part A, that is the CSIR core syllabus. What is that syllabus, Nana? First one, already I segregated this one also in 10 parts, you have to see. Wave particle duality, this is the first part. Which one it is? Wave particle duality. So the, here uh, a particle, uh, any entity, wave nature and particle nature both is there. De Broglie scientist introduced this wave particle duality. He got the Nobel Prize also. He used the Einstein's uh, E is equal to mc square and Planck's uh, law and he derived one another law. So that law we have to tell now. So now you have to see wave particle duality. Next, Schrodinger wave equation. This is the origin of the quantum mechanics. Schrodinger is a origin of the quantum mechanics, uh, e derived one wave equation, if it is a particle is existing the wave nature, then wave equation is there. There time dependent wave equation is there, time independent wave equation is there and then application of the Schrodinger wave equation. What are the application of the Schrodinger wave equation? Eigenvalue problems, particle in a one dimensional box, harmonic oscillator and uh, Tunneling through barrier. These are all Schrodinger wave equation applications only. This is the second part. Maybe now you have to see 
the third one wave function in coordinate and momentum representation wave function coordinate and momentum representation commutators and eisenberg uncertainty principle dirac notation so this one is uh, one more part coordinate and momentum representation commutators and eisenberg uncertainty principle that is another part dirac notation for state vectors motion in a central potential motion in a central potential within the motion in a central potential orbital angular momentum angular momentum algebra spin angular momentum addition of angular momentum hydrogen atom stern gerlach experiment so up to here one thing only and a motion of a central potential next time independent perturbation theory time independent perturbation theory and applications variational method time dependent perturbation theory uh, theory and fermi golden rule selection rules fermi golden rule and the selection rules also you have to learn next identical particle this is very very important is very easy pauli's exclusive principle spin statistics connection is there this is the syllabus in core a right in core a from 3.5 questions they may ask five marks questions also they may ask in csr examination right how the questions also is there we will discuss later in part b what is part b it is a advanced part in csr advanced part because the after writing the csr people will go to the research side people will go to the higher education side so that's why they will uh, uh, they will able to know what is uh, going on in future what are the challenges we have to face so that's why this is advanced one right science is a changing subject it is a systematically changing subject today one thing is there tomorrow it may be changed because it is a science right now you have to see michelson morley experiment because of the failure of the michelson morley experiment einstein got the success at a time we won't get the theory at a time we won't get the theory because of the failures only we are getting the success what is the part b advanced one you have to see spin orbit coupling fine structure this one we have to learn from amp atomic molecular physics but even though here also we have to learn spin orbit coupling and fine structure next wkb approximation wkb approximation next uh, elementary theory of scattering phase shifts partial waves born approximation all those things we have to learn in the scattering theory only so another one is the relativistic quantum mechanics klein godan equation dirac equations semi classical theory of radiation this is the advanced part from this part five marks questions you able to get in csr examination this part also very easy only i club and i will teach all the parts so once you have to see the paper pattern already you got the idea in mathematical methods of physics in classical mechanics also i explained this pattern this is a csr pattern total questions in part a 20 questions they will ask 15 questions you have to do each and every question carries two marks each and every question negative is 0.5 marks 1 by 4th negative is there in part part a it is consist of uh, which one it is in a general aptitude part a it is consisting of general aptitude with the emphasis of the logical reasoning graphical analysis analytical and numerical ability quantitative comparison series formation pulses puzzles like that uh, they will ask so from general aptitude you have to learn so general aptitude part a part a belongs to the general aptitude clear part b is belongs to the physics only part b is belongs to the physics so in part b 25 questions you will get 20 questions you able to do each and every question carries 3.5 marks each and every question for wrong question you may lose 0.875 marks in part c it is very very important part c because in part c 100 marks we will get 30 questions they are asking 10th optional is there 10 choice is there 20 questions you have to attempt each and every question 5 marks is there 
each and every wrong answer, 1.25 wrong answer you get. Total 200 marks, total question 75, you have to attempt 55 questions only you have to attempt for CSR examination. Within the 200 marks, at least 50, 50 percentage means 100 marks you are able to get, you are the topper in India, right? So, only 50 marks how we have to get that is the very very important strategy. To qualify the exam also one strategy is there. Knowing all the subjects we are unable to qualify that is the a waste, waste of the time. To qualify the subject also one nice uh, explanation we have. So, please uh, subscribe my channel. Now, you have to see this is the CSIR uh, part A, part B syllabus and the exam pattern. Now, gate. What is the gate syllabus? In the section 4, section 4 means fourth paper quantum mechanics in gate. What is the syllabus is there? Post lates of quantum mechanics is there. Post lates of quantum mechanics. Next, uncertainty principle there also is there. Schrodinger equation, Dirac bracket notation, linear vector space and operators in Hilbert space, one dimensional potential, step potential, finite rectangular well, Tunneling from a potential barrier, particle in a potential box, harmonic oscillator, two and three dimensional systems, concept of degeneracy, hydrogen atom, angular momentum, spin angular momentum, addition of angular momentum, variational methods and WKB approximation, time independent perturbation theory and elementary scattering theory. Born approximation symmetries in quantum mechanical system. This is the new one. Symmetrical in quantum mechanical system. Recently they are added. Recently they are added. Symmetry in quantum mechanical system. Here uh, uh, in CSR also the syllabus is not there. But in your MSc people are learning the symmetry in quantum mechanics of the system. This is the gate syllabus. Clear? I, I, uh, how the exam pattern, gate exam pattern you have to see. General aptitude 15 marks you may get. 15 marks. Total how many marks from general aptitude 15 marks. 1 to 5 question. Question number 1 to question number 5. 1 mark question. 1 mark question. Question number 6 to question number 10. 2 marks questions. 2 marks questions they will ask. Total how many marks you want to get it? 15 marks. How many questions? 10 marks questions are there. For 10 questions are there. 1 to 5, 1 mark questions. 6 to 10, 2 marks question. Total 10 questions, 15 marks maximum you have to do general aptitude. Negative is there. 1 by 4th negative also is there. In physics, multiple choice questions only, but 3 varieties of questions are there. 11 to 35 questions, 1 mark question here. 1 mark 11 to 35, 36 to 65, this is the 2 marks question, 36 to 65, 2 marks question, total 55 questions from physics they will ask, 10 questions from general aptitude, 55 questions from physics, same in CSR also 55, in gate also 55 questions we will get, but in CSR we are getting 3.5 questions, 3.5 marks questions, and 5 marks question. In uh, gate, we are getting only 1 mark question and 2 mark question. There are 200 marks total. Here 100 marks. 85 marks for physics. 85 marks. Here 3 varieties of questions they were ask. One variety is multiple choice question. MCQ questions. Multiple choice question. First variety. Next multiple selected questions. Multiple selected questions, MSQ. Next, numerical answer questions. Numerical answer question. Question type. Numerical answer type questions. Numerical answer type question. This is a NAT. Numerical answer type question. These three varieties of questions they will ask. They will give the bracket. In that bracket, you have to fill it. Do the problem. And answer will come. That answer you have to enter through your virtual keyboard. I mean, this is the computer based exam only. Right. 
in computer based examination through your keyboard you have to enter your number whatever number answer you got that number you have to enter clear next multiple selected questions option a option b option c three options may write now you have to enter option a correct option b correct option c correct like that you have to enter then you will get the marks multiple selected questions next mcq that is a obviously you know mcq multiple choice question within the multiple you have to choose one choice whether it may be a or b or c or d whatever it may be that answer is correct that answer you have to select it next what are the reference books you have to follow now you know the syllabus csir syllabus and gate syllabus i gave what type of books we have to follow for gaining this syllabus right which type of book we have to follow first number 1 quantum mechanics concept and application jetly this book is very very nice book you may want to purchase you have to purchase and keep with you jetly is very very nice book introduction to quantum mechanics griffith this one also nice quantum mechanics 500 problems arul das this 500 problems are very very nice problems they are giving you have to take this book also quantum mechanics yugen uh, mes uh, merge basser this book also nice quantum physics sc verma he also wrote nice book quantum mechanics chief for symmetry you have to follow this book for symmetry you have to follow this book uh, you have to follow for symmetry for symmetry you have to follow this book quantum mechanics concept and application tarun biswas this is also a nice book so many books are there for quantum mechanics uh, a delhi professor uh, lok ghatak and loknadam also wrote uh, some important uh, books for uh, quantum mechanics whatever it may be all the topics you won't get in a single book you have to follow for different topics different books you have to follow so that's why coaching is needed if you like my teaching please subscribe my youtube channel and uh, uh, go to the play store and download the app quantum online academy app from that app you have to purchase my course and you have to join right now we will go for the segregation now we will see the syllabus part a is there part b is there in the gate uh, syllabus is there entire the syllabus is very huge okay we unable to concentrate on this syllabus once you have to see the syllabus you are afraid about the syllabus how we have to cover this entire portion is new portion we unable to get that notation also different notations are there what is that notation meaning also we won't get so that's why guide is needed right so that's why i segregated 10 parts how i am segregating the mathematical methods how i am segregating the classical mechanics same way in quantum mechanics also i segregated into 10 parts first part number 1 you have to see first part wave particle duality this is the wave particle duality from wave particle duality you may get in csr 3.5 marks in gate one mark question you may get right schrodinger equations and eigen value problem schrodinger equations and eigen value problem and tunneling through the barrier also you have to learn from here in tunneling barrier also you have to learn here only tunneled uh, tunnel tunneling uh, barrier also you have to learn right from here only you have to learn Ra how many questions you may may, may get 8.5 one long one long means one five marks question one 3.5 question you get two marks question you get in gate syllabus wave function representation how we have to represent the wave function in dirac notation bracket notation is there dirac bra and ket notation is there based on this bracket notation some properties are there how we have to represent the now how we have to represent the expectation value how we have to represent the orthogonality property how we have to represent the eigen value property all those things we have to represent using a dirac notation dirac is a great mathematician 
gave one notation. That notation we are using in quantum mechanics. We were able to get 3.45 in CSR, 2 marks in gate examination we were able to get. Commutator algebra, this is very, very important. Compulsory question we'll, we will get in CSR examination. Eisenberg uncertainty principle, this is also very, very important. From commutation algebra, we have to derive the Eisenberg uncertainty principle. 5 marks, 5, 2, 2 marks we will get. 10 marks question we will be able to get. 2 marks in gate, we are expecting that line. Angular momentum, their angular momentum, 3 angular momentums are there. Orbital angular momentum, spin angular momentum, additional of angular momentum and Klebs Godan coefficient. Klebs Godan uh, coefficients also very very important. Klebs Godan coefficient also very very important. Uh, so this is very very important. In three angular momentum and additional of angular momenta and Klebs Godan coefficient. Not only that, hydrogen atom also very very important. From this also so many questions. You may get in CSR examination already these questions are we got in last CSR exam hydrogen atom. What is the wave function of the hydrogen atom? What are the energy values of the hydrogen atom? What are the radius of the first order orbit radius, second orbit radius, expectation value of the radius values? They will ask 10 marks expecting CSR, one mark for gate. Next approximation methods. In approximation methods also, three approximation methods are there. One is perturbation theory. Perturbation theory. First approximation is perturbation theory. The second approximation is variation method. Variation method. Which method it is, Nana? Variation method. The third one is WKB approximation. WKB approximation. All the approximations we have to learn here only, whether it may be advanced part or core part. Perturbation theory and variation method is there in ad core part, part A syllabus in CSR. WKB approximation, this is advanced part. WKB approximation, from WKB approximation, 5 marks question pakka we will get. From perturbation theory also, sometimes we may get 5 marks. Sometimes we are, they are asking, in variational method also 5 marks they are asked. So that's why this is very very important. 10 marks you may get in CSR, 2 marks in gate that is there is a possibility. Identical particle, what are the identical particles are there? Bosons and fermions are identical particle. If it is boson, what how we have to represent the wave function? If it is fermion, how we have to represent the wave function? They are asking the questions. These questions any person can do, even 10th class students also. If we teach to them, then they will do these type of questions because if you know the addition and subtraction symbols, easy to you have to learn this identical particle. Maybe sometimes they may ask 3.5 in CSR, one mark in gate. Next, elementary theory of scattering. This is very, very important. Elementary theory of scattering, their born approximation is there. And uh, then uh, Born approximation is very, very important. Uh, partial wave analysis, Born approximation and partial wave analysis, partial wave analysis. These things uh, we have to learn uh, in uh, which area? Scattering theory. Scattering theory, their elementary scattering theory, Born approximation and partial wave analysis, phase shifts, those things we have to learn. Uh, 5 marks question pakka you may get in CSR, 2 marks for gate exams. In relativistic quantum theory, is very very important. In relativistic quantum theory, Dirac equations are there, klein godan equation is there, Dirac equations and klein godan equation and semi-classical radiation. Which one it is, Nana? Semi-classical radiation. Semi-classical radiation. Semi-classical radiation. That one also under uh, relativistic quantum mechanics only. 5 marks, you pakka, you will get it in CSIR. 2 marks for gate. The symmetry in quantum mechanics recently they are added. So, 0 in CSR. CSR, there is no syllabus in symmetry. But gate, uh, you able to get 2 marks. Recently, they are adding symmetries in quantum mechanical system. What are the symmetries are there? 3 varieties of symmetries are there. Space displacement rotation and uh, 
time displacement rotational displacement like that uh, 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 symmetry orientations are there those orientation we have to learn intrinsic symmetry those things we have to learn in symmetry in quantum mechanical system these are 10 parts i divided entire syllabus covered within the 10 parts only right wave particle duality the first one the second one Schrodinger wave equation and its application the third one wave function representation how we have to represent the dirac notation commutator algebra eisenberg uncertainty principle angular momentum algebra and hydrogen atom approximation methods identical particles elementary theory of the scattering relativistic quantum mechanics symmetry in quantum mechanical system these all topics are very very easy if teacher will teach nicely these all topics are easy not hard right if you read the textbook that notation is very difficult clear so that's why our coaching is needed so please subscribe my channel and share to your friends so you have to listen and you download my app from google play store and then from that app also you have to listen my classes clear now each and every part from each 10 areas i divided now from 10 questions i gave from one one area one one question i took and i am giving like demo like that i am giving how you, my teaching is there you assess my teaching and then you decided to join or not uh, you decide right this is purely online mode only not offline whether it may be uh, if you want to listen recorded classes you have to listen recording classes if you want to listen the live classes you have to listen live also every day 6 am to 8 am class will be there now you have to see here the recoiling momentum of an atom is pa when it emits in infrared photon of wavelength is 1500 nanometer and it is when pb when it emits a photon of visible wavelength 500 nanometer the ratio of pa by pb they are asking what is the question once you have to see if you learn the question if you understand the question it is very easy how we have to solve that one is very easy first you have to see how we have to approach to solve the question first the recoiling momentum of an atom suppose if you have to take an electron whatever it may be once you have to incident the energy with the h nu which one it is nana this is the energy right incident energy which energy we have to take incident energy incident uh, energy if you have to take that energy is h nu that incident energy is uh, h nu incident uh, energy h nu the after what will happen this electron is recoiling in this direction with what momentum with pa momentum is recalling pa momentum what is the wavelength of this pa is equal to the pa when it emits infrared photon uh, the wavelength is equal to 1500 nanometer how many nanometer nana 1500 nanometer now this photon also scattered this photon also scattered right with what momentum pb momentum with uh, wavelength pb lambda b is equal to how much uh, how much is there 500 nanometer 500 nanometer right so they are asking what they are asking you have to calculate p a is divided by p b is equal to how much they are asking p a is divided by p b is equal to how much they are asking how we have to calculate already I told de broglie introduced a dual nature of wave particle dual nature of the matter right suppose what is the lambda is equal to the de broglie wavelength what is the de broglie wavelength nana h by p therefore p is equal to h by lambda can i write therefore what we have to write p 
is inversely proportional to 1 by lambda. If it is p is inversely proportional to 1 by lambda, how we have to calculate p a is divided by p b is equal to lambda b is divided by lambda a. So, you have to substitute. Therefore, p a is divided by p b is equal to lambda b is equal to how much? Lambda b is equal to 500 nanometer lambda b. Lambda a is equal to 1500 nanometer. 1500 nanometer nanometer get cancelled. Double zero get cancelled. 51 ja, 53 ja. P a by P b is equal to 1 by 3. Therefore, 1 is to 3 we have to write. P a is to P b is equal to 1 is to 3. What is our option? Our option C is correct. Like this we have to do. Somewhat it is difficult only. If you know how to approach the problem, it is very easy. If you are unable to know how to solve the problem, it is difficult only. Clear? This question from when they are asking, gate 2014, they are asking this question for one mark question, one mark gate 2014, they are asking. PA by PB is equal to, what is this PA? The PA is the momentum of A, PB is momentum of B. By using the de Broglie wavelength, we are solving this question. Clear? Now, we will see the next one. What is the next one? Next, uh, Stodinger wave equation and eigenvalue problem we got. No? From that, I took one question. That is the CSIR uh, December 2011, they are asking this question. Once you have to see. A particle of mass m in a cubic box of size a. One box is there. That box is cubic box. Which box it is? Cubic box. That box size is equal to how much size is there? A size is there. That length and breadth and width a size. Maybe you have to take x axis. You have to take a y axis. You have to take the z axis wherever it may be go. 0 is less than or equal to x is less than a. 0 is less than or equal to y is less than a. 0 is less than or equal to z is less than a is equal to 0. And outside if you have to take infinite. Within this the potential is equal to 0. Outside the potential is equal to infinite. Right? This is a cubical box. If the particle is in eigenstate, that energy is equal to how much energy is there, Nana? 14 phi square h cut square by 2m a square. Its wave function is. Eigenvalue they are giving. What is the wave function they are asking? From the eigenvalue, I derive the wave function. Once you have to see how I am deriving the wave function, once you have to see. First, what they are giving? Eigenvalue they are giving. Which box it is? It is a cubical box. Nx comma Ny comma Nz is equal to 14 phi square h cut square is divided by 2m a square. Correct? 14 phi square h cut square is divided by 2m a square. This is the eigenvalue of that box, cubical box. Now you have to see how I am writing 14. You have to write the formula nx square plus ny square plus nz square whole square nx square plus ny square plus nz square. This is the n square value. n square value is divided by into phi square h cut square is divided by 2m a square is equal to 14 phi square h cut square is divided by 2m a square. Clear? So, 2m a square, 2m a square get cancelled. Phi square, phi square, h cut square, h cut square get cancelled. Now, you compare the thing. nx square plus ny square plus nz square is equal to 14 we want to get. From the answers we have to come now. What are the answers are there? First answer you have to see. 
2 by a all to the power of root 3 by 2 that one we will get root uh, a by each and every cube uh, you are getting the wave function sin of x is equal to uh, root uh, 2 by a sin n phi x by a this is the one dimensional wave uh, wave one dimensional box wave function if you have to take a first side x side you will get this one a root 2 by a the second side root 2 by a and third side root 2 by a you will get the 2 by a all to the power of 3 by 2 you have to get here nx is equal to how much is there nana 3 is there here nx is equal to how much is there nana 5 is n y here nz is equal to how much is there nana 6 is there 3 square plus 5 square plus 6 square it won't become as a 14 3 square plus 5 square plus 6 square is exceeding the 14 right now you have to see it is a 7 square 4 square 3 square it is also exceeding 7 square plus 4 square plus 3 square exceeding the 14 now you are able to see nx is equal to 4 ny is equal to 8 nz is equal to 2 4 square plus 8 square plus 2 square is greater than the 16 but here nx is equal to 1 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square 1 plus 4 plus 9 is equal to 14 so that's why corresponding the energy 14 e square h cut square is divided by 2m a square 14 phi square h cut square by 2m a square that corresponding wave function is which function it is in a option d is correct from this eigen value for a based on this formula based on this formula right based on this formula we have to write because here n square is equal to nx square plus ny square nz square for a three dimensional cubical box clear for three dimensional cubical box n square is equal to nx square plus ny square plus nz square like that you have to see the answers from that answer you have to pick up one answer corresponding 14 value answer correct answer clear like that we have to do this is a one dimensional three dimensional box schrodinger wave equation application this one is schrodinger wave equation application this is the second one now we have to see the third one what is the third one you have to see what is the third one the third one we have to take that is a wave uh, representation position and momentum representation and bracket notation from that we have to see the wave function of a particle is given what they are giving nana the wave function of the particle psi is equal to 1 by root 2 into phi 0 plus i into phi 1 this is the wave function they are giving where phi 0 phi 1 are the normalized eigen functions with energies e0 and e1 corresponding to the ground state and first excited state right the expectation value of the Hamiltonian of the state. They are asking expectation value of the Hamiltonian. The expectation value of the Hamiltonian is equal to, there is a formula is there. What is the formula Nana? E s summation of s, E s p s. This is the expectation value of Hamiltonian. How we have to calculate the probability first? Our wave function is uh, depending on two quantities. The probability of the first quantity P0 is equal to 1 by root 2 whole square is divided by 1 by root 2 whole square plus 1 square is equal to 1 by 2 is divided by 3 by 2. 2, 2 get cancelled. 1 by 3 we are getting the probability of first quantity. The probability of the second quantity is equal to expectation value of i square is divided by 1 by root 2 whole square plus 
expectation value of i square. That is the one means the expectation value of i square only. Now, how much value you are getting, Nana? Once you have to see, 1 is divided by 3 by 2 is equal to 2 by 3 we are getting. Now, what we have to get? We are calculating the expectation value of h corresponding to that value, right? For a ground state energy value, you have to take it as a E0, ground state, which one you have to take? Ground state energy value, ground state energy, you have to take it as E0, right? That corresponding probability is equal to P0. That first excited state, which one we have to take, Nana? First excited state, first excited state energy value is equal to E1 you have to take, right? Corresponding probability is P1. What they want to ask? They are asking about the expectation value. What is the formula of the expectation value? Summation of S. P S E S is the formula. How many probabilities are there? P0 E0 plus P1 E1. Only 2 is there. Only 2 we have to take. P0 is equal to P0 is equal to already we find. How much value we find? Nana? P0 is equal to 1 by 3. P0 is equal to 1 by 3 into E0. Plus P1 is equal to how much value you are getting the P1 is equal to 2 by 3. 2 by 3 into E1. Therefore, you have to take the LCM3. E0 plus 2E1 is divided by 3. Which one it is? The expectation value of Hamilton. This is your answer. Once you have to check the answers, the expectation value of E0 is equal to E0 plus 2E1 is divided by 3. Option D is correct. Like that we have to calculate. From whom we are calculating? The representation of the wave function. This is question belongs to the representation of wave function only. Right? This is very very important. When we got the question, this is 3.5 marks question in 2011. They are asking, 2011, they are asking 3.5 marks question. Please concentrate on like this. Next. Next, I segregated area. Which area? The fourth area is commutator and Heisenberg uncertainty principle. I took the question from commutator. I took the question. Once you have to see what is the question you have. The commutation of x square comma p square value. You have to find out. June 2012, they are asking this question in CSIR question only this one. In gate also so many times this question came. Same question they are asking. We know the distribution property of the commutator. What is the distribution property of the commutator? Distribution property. If you know the distribution property or distribution axiom of what? Commutator. Commutator A B comma C is equal to A into commutator B comma C plus commutator A comma C into B. This is a rule, distributing property rule, right? From this property, I am applying how we have to apply once you have to see. X into X, I have to write this uh, X square, what I am writing? X into X p square is equal to which one I have to write instead of a x is there instead of b also x is there instead of c I would want to do so instead of c p square is there now you have to write x into x comma p square plus x comma p square into x we have to write like that. But we know one thing, what we know, these all things we come to know. X comma P, commutator X comma Px is equal to IH cut. It is a constant value. If it is X comma Px is a constant value, 
if you have to get p to the power of n square 3 4 5 whatever it may be is that how we have to write na na i h cut into p x comma n whole dash we have to write some uh, that uh, formula i am applying here x as it easily i am writing x comma p x square is equal to i h cut into what we have to write uh, 2 p i am writing because p square dash is equal to 2 p you have to differentiate p square next i h cut into 2 p into x what are the common is there 2 i h cut is common is there 2 i h cut you have to take the common here x p plus p into x so what is this this is a commutator x square comma p square is equal to 2 i h cut into x p plus p x for a quantum mechanics we cannot be equal at x p is not equivalent to the p x that is why we have to keep like that only what is your answer according to your options once you have to see the commutator x square comma p x square is equal to 2 i h cut into x p plus p x this is the option b is correct from the commutator how simple it is if you know if you don't know you are unable to all these things you are unable to do the all these things you know the problems you know the formulas you know how to approach the formula how to solve the problem also you know when you will get the solution teaching is needed teacher is needed right now the fifth part <coughs> the fifth part you have to see what is the fifth part angular momentum from angular momentum i took this question when they are asking june 2013 csr uh, time they are asking this question first you have to see if psi n l m psi is a wave function is represented under n l m n is a principal quantum number l is the azimuthal quantum number m is a magnetic quantum number right three quantum numbers we are taking here n is a principal quantum number l is a azimuthal quantum number m is the magnetic quantum number if the eigen function of the hamiltonian with potential they are asking the potential v is equal to v of r then the expectation value of what they are asking expectation value of lx square plus ly square is equal to how much they are asking they are giving the wave function what is the wave function 1 by 5 into 3 into psi 2 1 1 plus psi 2 1 0 plus root 15 into psi 2 1 minus 1 they are giving the wave function what they are asking lx square plus ly square what is the value they are asking now you have to see this is a orbital angular momentum question maybe they will ask spin angular momentum maybe they will ask addition of angular momentum maybe they ask orbital angular momentum maybe they will ask klebs godan coefficient question also whatever the questions they may get that area is the same that area you have to learn uh, how we have to solve this question you have to see but you know one thing l square is equal to l square is equal to lx square ly square plus lz square because l is a vector quantity i into lx plus j into ly plus k into lz this is the vector if you have to find the l dot l l square you are getting that l square is equal to lx square plus ly square plus lz square but from this how we have to write once you have to see l square minus lz square is equal to lx square plus ly square you have to take for this the expectation value of l square minus lz square is equal to the expectation value of lx square ly square if you have to find this value this value this value is equal to this value correct we need to calculate this value directly we are unable to calculate this value that's why i am writing this how we have to write expectation value of l square 
minus expectation value of Lz square. This value we need to calculate. How we have to calculate? We know the wave function. We know the wave function. From that wave function, we have to calculate. How we have to calculate once you have to see expectation value of L square is equal to L into L plus 1 into H cut square. This is the eigenvalue. Right? Expectation value of Lz is e square is equal to M square H cut square. This is the another uh, uh, formula. From this we have to calculate. What is our eigenfunction? Psi LNM is equal to 1 by 5 into 3 psi 2 1 1 plus psi 2 1 0 plus root 15 psi 2 minus 1. This one they are giving. Once you have to check psi 3 psi 2 1 1 psi 2 1 0 plus root 15 psi 2 minus 1 they are giving. Now from this you have to see here L is e L. Middle one is L, middle one is L, middle one is L. L is equal to how much is there, Nana? L is equal to 1 is there. Now you have to see L is equal to 1. Here M is equal to how much? 1. Here M is equal to how much? 0. Here M is equal to how much? Here M is equal to minus 1. Now you have to calculate expectation value of L square minus expectation value of Lz square is equal to L square is equal to what is the formula? L into L plus 1 into H cut square. L is equal to how much value? L is equal to 1. 1 into 1 plus 1 into H cut square minus Lz. Lz is the three values are there. So what we have to write? 3 by 5. 3, 9 by 25. You have to make it square. 9 by 25 m square m is equal to how much is there m square means 1 square h cut square plus 1 by 25 into which one we have to write 0 square into h cut square plus 15 by 25 into how much nana minus 1 h cut whole square is there this is the value you have to calculate. Here once you have to see 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. 2 h cut square minus 9 by minus bracket is there. 9 by 25 h cut square. So this one is a 0 into something is equal to 0. Right? 0 into something is equal to 0 plus 25 sorry 15 by which one we have to get? That one we have to take here uh, plus uh, minus into minus plus 15 by 25 h cut square is there. Here 9 by 25, 15 by 25. How much you are getting? 24 by 25. 2 h cut square minus 24 h cut square by 25. You take the LCM. How we have to get once you have to see? 50 h cut square minus 24 h cut square is divided by 25. 50 minus 24 is equal to 26 h cut square is divided by 25. This is your answer. Right? So, according to your option, what is L x square, L square expectation value minus L z square expectation value is equal to 26 h cut square is divided by 25 you are getting. That value is there or not we have to see. What is the value is there? That value is there option D. Option D is correct. Like this we have to solve. If you are unable to know the trick, you are unable to solve this problem. This problem is very very important. So many times like these questions are asking in CSIR examination. This question came in 2013 CSIR. June 2013 examination they are asking. Now the sixth one we have to see. What is the sixth one you have to see? The sixth one, if the perturbation, this is the perturbation already I told, approximation uh, methods are, three approximation methods are there. One is the perturbation theory, variational method, WKB approximation. Perturbation theory, two parts is there. One is time dependent perturbation theory, 
time independent perturbation theory is there. Another one variational method and WKB approximation. Everything we have to uh, exercise, we have to solve for energy eigenvalue only, right? For three methods also, we are going for the energy eigenvalue only. This is a perturbation theory and variation method and WKB approximation also. I took the question from the perturbation theory for your uh, uh, introduction purpose. June 2011 CSIR uh, examination they are asking. Once you have to see the question, if the perturbation H dash first order perturbation, this is H dash is equal to A into X they are taking, right? Where A is the constant is added to the infinite square well potential. What is the potential? That potential is the infinite square well. V of X is equal to, they are giving the definition 0 for, when it is 0, 0 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 5. When it is infinite, otherwise you have to take it as a infinite. Otherwise, you have to take it as a infinite. The correction of the ground state energy to first order. Ground state energy, ground state energy means that is E0 for which order? First order you have to take. Already we know for the perturbation theory, the first order energy correction, the first order energy correction En dash is equal to bra psi h dash ket psi we have to take. Bra psi h dash ket psi we have to take. In integration formula for ground state what we have to write? Psi E0 dash is equal to psi 0 h dash ket psi we are right. But in, in terms of integration, in terms of integration, how we have to write E0 dash is equal to integral lower limit to upper limit psi 0 conjugate into H dash psi into D tau. This is the expectation value for a first order energy correction. Almost it is expectation value of the energy only. What is the psi 0? Psi 0, our potential function is V of x is equal to 0. When it will be 0? 0 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 5. Otherwise, infinite. Otherwise, you have to take it as a infinite. Our lower limit is 0. Our upper limit is 5. Our upper limit is, lower limit is 0, upper limit is 5, here potential is equal to 0, the particle is freely moving, that is why only kinetic energy is existing, potential energy is equal to 0. Then time we have to write, if it is 0 to A, what is the thing wave function? Psi n of x is equal to root 2 by A sin n 5 x by A, this is the formula. Now, what we have to write for ground state psi 0 of x is equal to root 2 by 5, root 2 by 5 sin where n is equal to what we have to write nana, n is equal to here ground state energy function is not existing that is a first psi 1 is existing 1 into 5 x is divided by 5, 5, 5 get cancelled. Here E0 is not existing, energy is not existing for one dimensional. That is why you have to keep at is a psi 1 you have to keep. Psi 1, psi 1, psi E1 you have to keep. Clear? Right. What is our function? Psi 1 of x is equal to root 2 by 5 sin x you are getting the sign. This is the wave function. How we have to calculate? Already we derived the formula E1 dash is equal to integral lower limit to the upper limit psi1 conjugate h dash psi1 into d tau. There we are substituting. How we have to substitute once you have to see E1 dash is equal to E1 dash is equal to what is our lower limit? Lower limit is 0. What is upper limit? Upper limit is 5. Psi 1 conjugate is equal to root 2 by 5 into sin x. 
h dash is equal to a into x. So, root 2 by 5 into sin x into dx. We are writing that one. Now, root 2 by 5 into root 2 by 5 is equal to how much? 2 by 5 integral 0 to 5. A also you have to bring outside x into sin x into sin x is equal to sin x sin square into x into dx. But you know one thing, 2a by 5 integral 0 to 5 x into x square is equal to 1 minus cos 2x is divided by 2 into dx we have to write. Which one we have to write Nana? 1 minus cos 2x is divided by 2, 2, 2 get cancelled. Therefore, what we have to see once you have to see a by 5 into integral bracket I am opening, 2, 2 root 2 integrations are coming now, 0 to 5 x into dx minus integral 0 to 5 cos 2x into dx, right? It, it is a cos 2x is a even function. This function is a even function. These limits are odd limits. If it even function odd limits are there, if you have to do and substitute these limits, you will get the 0. Now, this one you have to solve. a by 5 into integral x is equal to x square by 2 into 0 to 5. First, you have to apply the limit a by 5 into 5 square by 2 minus 0 square by 2. 0 square by 2 is equal to 0. 1, 5, 1, 5 get cancelled. Therefore, a 5 is divided by 2. Which answer you are getting? a 5 is divided by 2. This is the first energy correction for the ground state. Whether this answer is there or not, once you have to check it, whether answer is there or not, option a a 5 by 2. Option A is a correct option. Like this you have to calculate. From the perturbation theory we are getting. If you know the formula, that is fine. But how we have to approach, how we have to apply in that formula, how we will get the answer that is for that coaching is needed. So please concentrate on this. Uh, you decide whether you may join or not, you have to decide. And then you have to upload my, uh, you have to download my app from your Android mobile. Then you have to purchase my CSR and gate physics uh, batch. That uh, from that you have to listen my courses, right? Seventh part, seventh one you have to see. What is the seventh one? This is the scattering theory. No uh, identical particle. We are already, we are. Uh, Segregating the seventh one, how we have to segregate once you have to see. The seventh one is identical particles. From the identical particle, I make one question once you have to see. That is the seventh question from the identical particles we are making. Consider a system two non-interacting identical fermions. When they are asking this question, June 2004 CSIR paper, they are asking this question. Consider a system of two non-interacting identical fermion. If it is a fermion, first you have to see uh, if it is a fermion. Fermion means it is anti-symmetric. If it is a fermion, that wave function is, uh, which one you have to take, uh, that wave function is anti-symmetric wave function. That wave function is anti-symmetric. Please remember, anti symmetric. If it is a fermion, it is a anti-symmetric wave function. First, we have to segregate it. From the question, we are writing the data. Consider a system of two non-interacting identical fermions, each of mass m in an infinite square well potential width A. Take the potential inside well B0. So, inside, take the potential inside of the well is 0. Ignore the spin. Spin is ignore means S is equal to 0. If it is ignore the spin, if it is spin is not given, spin is not given, not given. How we have to fill the atoms? We have to fill the atoms. How we have to fill the atoms? Two particles for each state. 
two particles for state. If it is a spin is not given, what is our portion? Two particles for state. Suppose two particles are there. How many particles are there? Two particles, they are non-interacting particles. One particle is x1, another particle is x2. How we have to write? Psi of x1, comma x2 is equal to psi of x1, first particle, and the second particle, you have to write the psi of x2 minus psi of x2 into psi of x1. This is a anti-symmetric wave function. If the function will be like that, then that answer is correct. Once you have to check it, the wave function of the system with the total energy is equal to, what is the total energy is equal to? Phi, phi square, h cut square is divided by 2m square. Once again, you have to see, E is equal to, it is a two-dimensional box, nx comma ny is equal to phi, phi square, h cut square is divided by 2m a square, where n square is equal to nx square plus ny square is equal to how much we have to get? 5 you have to get. Whether it may be anti-symmetric, that's why we have to get the minus also. You have to check the option. From the option, you have to check it. How we have to get the answer, you have to see. That is a 2 by a because one wave function root 2 by a, another wave function root 2 by a. 2 by a is the common. First, we have to see nx is equal to 1, ny is equal to 2. 1 square plus 2 square is equal to 5. Here, minus symbol also existing. 2 square plus 1 square is equal to also 5. Therefore, option a is correct. From option b, you have to sum. But here also 5 will existing, but here plus is there. That's why this option is wrong. Here, 1 square plus 3 square is equal to 10. This option is wrong. Here one sign is there, one cos is there, infinite square well box. It is not cos one chem, it is a symmetric box, then only cos will come. If it is infinite square well box, there is no cos term. That's why only option A is correct. Clear? For logical reasoning, it is entire abstract thinking, we know the all the concepts, then only we have to approach. Whether it may be fermions, that wave function is anti-symmetric wave function. Spin states are not given, we have to take each state, two particles we have to take, right? From each state, two particle, if you have to take, uh, how we have to represent the wave function, psi of x1 comma x2 is equal to psi1 of x into psi2 of x minus psi2 of x into psi1 of x, we have to get it, clear? There, they are giving one uh, hint, uh, what is that hint? Uh, e n x n y is equal to phi phi square h cut square by 2 m square is there, where n square is equal to n x square plus n y square is equal to phi. How we have to get the phi from the following options? We have to see, right? How we have to get the following options phi? First, first option we have to get it. That is the first option is correct one. Clear? Now the eighth one. Eighth one, what is this? The day scattering theory. From the scattering theory, we have to calculate this one. First, you have to see, this is very, very important. Scattering theory, 5 marks question. This is a 5 marks question only. June 2018, CSIR, recently they are asking this question. The differential scattering cross-section, d sigma by d omega, differential scattering cross-section for the center potential, they are, asked, they are giving the potential V of R is equal to beta by R into e to the power of mu R, where beta and mu are positive constant is calculated in the first born approximation. What is the first born approximation? First born approximation means, first born approximation means potential energy is weak. Your potential is very, very weak. If it is a potential way is a weak, your scattered beam will uh, collapses. That's why your wave function is a plane wave. Your wave function will become as a plane wave. Your incident beam is, uh, your incident wave is, uh, how much energy is there? High energy. Your incident energy is 
high energy because it can act as a plane wave. This is the first Born approximation. From the first Born approximation, it depends on the scattering angle. Scattering angle means that the scattering amplitude f of theta, f of theta is proportional to how much is there? d sigma by d omega, d sigma by d omega is proportional to how much is there? They are asking. Is proportional to f of theta whole square. First, we have to calculate the f of theta. How we have to calculate the f of theta is equal to scattering amplitude. Scattering amplitude or scattering angle. Scattering amplitude. What is this? This one is already they gave differential scattering cross section. Clear? First, we have to calculate the scattering amplitude. How we have to calculate? We know the formula. Then only we have to calculate. The scattering amplitude f of theta is equal to minus 2 mu square by h cut square into k integral 0 to infinite r dash v of r into sin k r, r dash into k r into d r dash you have to write. It. So, this one. But we need uh, these constants, we do not want to need. This is the formula, scattering amplitude formula, where k is equal to uh, 2k sin theta by 2. This is the another formula. You remember these two formulas, right? Some books they are writing k instead of k is equal to q also they will write. But whatever it may be, we have to represent that one. f of theta is directly proportional to, how we have to write, Nana? f of theta is directly proportional to, we have to say f of theta is directly proportional to 1 by k, this is the propagation constant, integral 0 to infinite r into v of r is equal to, they are giving beta, what is the value? v of r is equal to beta by r into e to the power of minus mu r, beta by r into e to the power of minus mu r into sin kr into dr. This is the value. I am substituting that value. From this value, we have to calculate. How we have to calculate? So, we have to do the simplification. The simplification, this is a 5 marks question. That is why people will exercise easily. We won't get the 5 marks. No? 25 marks questions you are able to get. 100 marks you will get it. f of theta is directly proportional to 1 by k we are writing. Integral 0 to infinite as it easily we are writing. 1 r, 1 r get cancelled. That beta also you have to bring outside. Beta is a constant value. So, we can write, uh, we uh, omit also. e to the power of minus mu into r sin k r into dr. Then, how we have to write once you have to see f of theta is directly proportional to 1 by k integral 0 to infinite e to the power of minus mu into r sin k r is equal to e to the power of i k r e to the power of i k r minus e to the power of minus i k r is divided by 2 i into dr i am writing. Okay? Right? Now you have to bring this 2 i to this side f of theta is equal is directly proportional to 1 by 2 i k into integral 0 to infinite e to the power of minus mu r into e to the power of i k r minus e to the power of minus i k r into d r. Clear? Again, we have to simplify. So, this board is not sufficient. I want to take one more page. Once you have to see. How we are taking f of theta is directly proportional to 1 by 2 i k into integral 0 to infinite e to the power of minus mu r into e to the power of i k r minus e to the power of minus i k r into d r. This one is correct now. Now you have to see how I am simplifying you have to see f of theta is directly proportional to 1 by 2 k 2 i k into 
integral 0 to infinite e to the power of minus mu you have to take the common mu minus k i k into minus r you have to take here mu minus r you have to take here all right minus e to the power of we have to take here minus you have to take mu plus i k into r into d right two terms are coming so that's why what we have to do so we are taking f of theta is directly proportional to 1 by 2 i k integral 0 to infinite e to the power of minus so minus which one we have to write mu into you have to take it as a uh, minus uh, you have to take r common you have to take r here not mu sorry one once mu is cancelled here minus r you have to take the common mu minus i k into r right minus integral 0 to infinite e to the power of minus mu plus i k into r into dr here also dr we are writing right once you have to see what is the integration once you have to take integral 0 to infinite e to the power of minus a x dx is equal to 1 by a this is the formula from this formula how we have to write f of theta is directly proportional to 1 by 2 i k 1 by mu minus i k minus 1 by mu plus i k we are getting correct again we need to simplify how we have to simplify once you have to see again we need to simplify f of theta is equal to now we will get f of theta is directly proportional to 1 by 2 i k you take the lcm mu plus i k into mu minus i k you have to get it here which one we are getting nana here uh, mu minus i k is there here mu plus i k here we have to get it a mu plus i k minus mu plus i k so minus mu plus mu get cancelled therefore f of theta is directly proportional to 1 by 2 i k into i k plus i k is equal to how much we are getting 2 i k is divided by mu square plus k square 2 i k 2 i k get cancelled therefore f of theta is directly proportional to mu square plus k square whole to the power of minus 1 we are getting but this one we are not asking. They are asking which one they are asking? Differential cross section d sigma by d omega is directly proportional to f of theta whole square. Now you substitute d sigma by d omega is directly proportional to f of theta is equal to how much we are getting? Mu square plus k square all to the power of minus 1 minus 1 all square you are getting d sigma by d omega is directly proportional to mu square plus k square all to the power of minus 2 you are getting but where mu is a constant that constant you have to take it as a, a. k is equal to 2k into sin theta by 2 so therefore k square is equal, is directly proportional to sin square theta by 2 from this you have to take how we have to take once you have to see from this one i am writing d sigma by d omega is directly proportional to what i am writing mu square instead of mu square is equal to a square instead of <coughs> k square is equal to sin square theta by 2 all to the power of minus 2 this is the answer. Differential scattering cross section is proportional to the in terms of the scattering amplitude theta in terms of in terms of scattering angle. What is the scattering angle Nana? How much is there? Once you have to check it, your option you have to check it. A square plus sin square theta by theta all to the power of minus 2. This is your correct option. A square 
plus sin square theta by 2 all to the power of minus 2. This is d sigma by d omega is directly proportional to in terms of which angle? Scattering angle. It's proportional to the minus to the minus 2. This one is correct. Like this we have to solve. This is a 5 marks question. Like that only question strength is there. You able to do this one. For solving this, you are uh, co you need the coaching, right? So if you like my teaching, please subscribe my Quantum Online Academy app, YouTube, and download my app in the Play Store and listen my classes. Next, this is a relativistic quantum mechanics question. The Dirac Hamiltonian they are giving. They are giving the Dirac Hamiltonian. They are giving. H is equal to C alpha dot P plus beta M C square per a pre electron corresponding to the classical relation E square is equal to P square C square plus M square C power 4. The classical energy momentum relation particle of a charge Q in the electromagnetic potential phi scalar potential A is the vector potential then how it will become? It will become like this. E minus Q into phi whole square P minus Q in by C into A. Our A will become like this. Our P will become like this. M square C square is the same. Clear? Our E is changing E minus Q into phi. Our P is changing P minus Q by C into A. Therefore, the Dirac Hamiltonian how it will become? The Dirac Hamiltonian in electromagnetic field. How it will become? We have to solve. What are the options once you have to see? Once you have to see, then you are able to get. But you know, what is the Schrodinger wave equation? H psi is equal to E psi. This is the Schrodinger wave equation. Here I am writing HD, Dirac equation we are writing. Therefore, once you have to see, E psi is equal to Dirac Hamiltonian into psi. E psi is equal to Dirac Hamiltonian. What is the Dirac Hamiltonian? Already they are giving the Dirac Hamiltonian. C alpha dot P plus beta M C square. C alpha dot P plus beta M C square. This is the Dirac Hamiltonian into psi. Right? Clear? Ra this is the expression. What is now? We are keeping a charged particle Q. In the presence of electromagnetic field, the charged particle Q, we are keeping in the presence of electromagnetic field. So, what is going to happen? That one we have to see. What is the thing once E can change E minus, E can change E minus, what is the thing? E can change E minus Q into phi. E can change as A. E minus Q into phi. P can change I A. P minus Q by C into A. Q by C into A. Then what will happen? This expression they are asking. Now you have to substitute. Just very simple. Once you have to see. Instead of E you have to write. E, e minus Q into 5. E minus Q into 5 into psi is equal to instead of p c alpha into p minus q by c into a plus beta m c square into psi we have to write clear now e into psi minus q into 5 into psi is equal to c into alpha dot P minus Q by C into A plus beta M C square into psi. This part you have to bring into this side. E into psi is equal to which one we have to write? C into alpha dot P minus Q by C into A plus beta M C square. If it is minus it will come what will happen? Plus Q into 5 into psi. So I am taking the common, entire thing I have to take the common. But you know one thing, Q is a charged particle, that charge is equal to, if you have to take it as a minus A, so let you have to take a 
q is equal to minus e then what will happen once you have to see e into psi is equal to c alpha dot p minus minus into minus plus e by c into a plus beta m c square minus e into 5 minus e into 5 into psi. What is this? This is uh, e psi is equal to e psi is equal to Dirac Hamiltonian into psi. Dirac Hamiltonian in terms of what? Dirac Hamiltonian in terms of minus e charged particle in electromagnetic field. What is this? This one. What is this? C into alpha plus uh, into p plus e by c into a plus beta mc square minus e into phi. Whether that option is there or not, you have to check it. Whether that option is there or not, you have to check it. Right. So, which one is uh, c into alpha p plus e by c into a beta mc square plus e into phi. Option B is correct. Option B is correct one option B. Once you have to check it, uh, right, right. So, plus here minus is there, no? Uh, minus we need to get it. Uh, okay, T can no problem. Uh, minus means option D is correct. Not B, sorry. C into alpha dot P plus E by C into B times C square minus E. Square. Option D is correct. Option D is correct. You have to check once, right? Our option C into alpha P plus E by C into A beta M C square minus E into phi. Minus E into phi. This option, option D is a correct one. Now we have to see the last one. Last part, that is the symmetric part. Symmetry in quantum mechanics. Recently they are added in gate examination. This is very easy. Only three symmetry distributions are there. That is the time, space and rotation. Which of the following is unitary operator under a space displacement? The unitary operator under the space displacement, once you have to see, the unitary operator under space displacement is equal to exponential of minus i rho dot p, rho dot p cap is divided by h cap. This is the space displacement, unitary operator under space displacement. Suppose you have to take the unitary operator of time displacement is equal to exponential of i h cap by h cut into tau. This is the unitary operator of time displacement, unitary operator of space displacement, right? Unitary operator of Time displacement, time displacement, unitary operator of time displacement. Next, uh, the unitary operator of infinitesimal rotation, the unitary operator of infinitesimal rotation is equal to 1 minus i phi dot L is divided by h cut. If it is a uh, unitary operator of finite uh, uh, unitary operator of finite rotation is equal to exponential of minus i phi dot L is divided by h cut. What is our option? Unitary operator of space displacement is equal to what is this exponential of minus i rho dot p cap is divided by h cut. This is the option A is correct. The, the syllabus is not yet coming in questions because CSIR not is there, the syllabus. The syllabus is only for the gate examination. Only three points are there. One is space displacement, time displacement, your rot infinite uh, rotational symmetry operator and some uh, intrinsic parity uh, like that uh, are there according to your curriculum. Clear? This is very, very important. Now you have to listen. What is the thingy? Our batch will start, CSR and GATE batch will commence from 7th January 2024 onwards. If you like my teaching, go to the Play Store and download my Quantum Online Academy app, where uh, Quantum Online Academy app, download it, right? Uh, download and you have to purchase 
you listen the classes from 7 1 20 24 onwards right all all introduction classes nine papers introduction classes freely you have to listen take the app and from that app you have to listen all nine papers also we have to inculcate freely only but if you want to take my classes that is a purchasable classes only right uh, if you want to choose me as a csir coacher you have to join in that uh, batch you listen this is one year batch one year batch every day live classes also is there that if you are not available 6 to 8 am you have to listen recorded version recorded version is available up to one year validity this is one year validity one year validity course complete to complete the syllabus one year it will be take place because nine papers are there each and every paper will take one hour so that's why it is a one year process clear you listen my name if you have any doubt you take my number this is my regular number double nine zero eight four three seven four six zero otherwise this is my institute number six three zero three two six double three six eight that is my institute number thank you so please share and subscribe and listen my youtube channel thank you for your patience